So here we go. We have to start each morning the way we start each morning. Do your morning prayer, your morning exercise, morning prayer. But then go to your, your scripture. <laughs> My scripture comes from this book, particular this particular uh, tome, uh, written by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., you know, the independent compensatory code system concept, a compensatory counter-racist code. This one is uh, published in, uh, or copyright in 2016 by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. As you know, he's been writing this book since like 1957 or something like that. The original uh, came out in uh, 1984. I actually have that copy. It's in South Africa. I had it bound and, and by uh, Lovedale Press and this whole, whole thing. Anyway, so, like I said, I use the scripture. I just open eight time, you know, time, I don't just look like that. But every morning, after I do my morning prayer, blah, 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 you know, all that sort of stuff, then I, I read these these four uh, questions. I got them highlighted there on page uh, 171 of this edition. Um, and it uh, says, and he suggests that every day, all day, wherever you are, ask yourself these four questions. Okay, in other words, you have to question sometimes, question this, right? What do I want to do? That's the first question, right? Why do I want to do what I want to do? What, why, right? right? How do I plan to do what I want to do? Now to accomplish, you know, the, uh, the, the what's and why's, right? And last, number four question is, uh, what do I expect the constructive result and he understands, he underlines constructive results here. Yeah, yeah, underline that. Oh, you all can't see it because I'm doing something else with the camera. Anyway, it's there. It's underlined. What do I expect the constructive result to be? These are important questions. Every day. That's how I start my day. I carry the book with me. It's kind of a heavy, but it's a small one. The big one's bigger. Okay. okay, so this day, you know, this is the second day, last day, of the... Uh, ADUS conference, second annual, right? And uh, this day here, let's see, it's Saturday now. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to look over my reading glasses. That don't make no sense. Okay, uh, registration check-in, uh, 8 to 8.45. I think we're in that thing right now. 8.45 to 9 o'clock, opening music. I like the music. I better get there in time to hear the music, you know. I saw a lot of music last night at the uh, Black Jockey Lounge, Black Jockey's lounge you know it's a black owned at least like it was a black black people were in there local black people i didn't even run into any ados nobody at least nobody i was wearing i was wearing this this fine garment you know i got offline like that oh you see i put something on the back did you see it? yo i hope it shows because i'm not going on camera here we go look at the back of this fine garment what can y'all see this this is what i call or what is called <laughs> And well, English translation is the wisdom knot. So, uh, Akan, you know, I have the Akan word for it up there. Okay, anyway, so uh, nobody said anything, but it was a black owner saying it was crowded. And I'm saying, let me support these people, right? So I had a little salmon thing. Blah, blah, blah. It's, I don't want to say it's too expensive, it's whatever. But I'm, trapped, I'm, I'm by myself, not like I have a date, I have to impress somebody, something like that, you know what I mean? And plus, I like to support black businesses. So, what did I do? I gave them a big tip. You know, once, you know, I was here two years ago, so what can you say? You know what I mean? Maybe I should have supported that. I don't think they were, maybe they were in existence two years ago. Anyway, but also, I got to tell you something. When I was here two years ago, I left my travel poncho here, here at the Echo Lodge. I'm at the Echo Lodge. Huh, it's it's kind of interesting how I rented a car like that, and it's sort of like, no matter, it doesn't matter. Was a sort of lane that goes right into the thing, and you avoid all a bunch of traffic, even to rush hours. Very interesting. I like this location. I have to try this well, every time I come to the conference. See, so I got my poncho back. This is a very unique poncho from Mexico, originally from Mexico. I see, I see it has a little tear there. I gotta repair it if I'm gonna do something. Weird. Anyway, but you know, Mexico, when I used to go in the uh, 80s and 90s, or well, 90s, I guess it was. Um, they, what was nice, they had different markets, you know, wherever you went, this, this, every area had a different market, so every market was unique, you know what I mean? Not like, you know, you, you go, any place you go, 
any place, you know, the, the same store, same store, so you get the same products, you know, same Chinese products, whatever. But that was quite unique. But I don't even know if they do that anymore in uh, Mexico. But I digress. Let me continue here. Let me see. So let's see. Uh, welcome. Welcome to Trainee Day. So Yvette's talking for 15 minutes. Then you have the breakout, um, uh, 9.15 to 10.30. Um, the first breakout is room one is wealth stimulation. Room two is reparations and advocacy. Number three is organizing. Which one would I go to? I think health, health stimulation. I have to do that one. Nine, uh, 10.45 to 12 o'clock breakout. Number two, wealth, oh, wealth continues. Oh no, uh, wealth stimula simulation continues. Starting a chapter. Boots on the ground. I might have to go to boots on the ground with that one. Can't start a chapter. I'm, I live in South Africa. Ain't nobody. Well, I don't, I don't, I, 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 the transportation as well. I live in a rural area. I live in a village. So, <laughs> in fact, I'm the only. I'm the only. Forget American. I'm well. Yeah, American. I'm the only Black American within miles. I'm talking about miles, kilometers, and kilometers and kilometers. I ain't met nobody yet. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, then 12 o'clock, or oh, food, lunch truck, whatever have you, uh, 1, 1 30 to 245, political tools in action, state level advocacy, power organizing. I guess you have to do power organizing. This as a witness, I think. Uh, uh, 3 to 330, reconvene. Oh, everybody comes to the same place. Oh, 5 o'clock to 530, movie premiere. Oh, that's the documentary they did, they did, they did two years ago. Uh, they interviewed me for that documentary. Hey, I guess I gotta see this. See if I, if see if my lovely face turns up. Probably not. We'll see what happens. I always make the cutting room floor. You ever? Know I ever tell you one time I was a, I was an extra in the film, a very key boss, well, key scene in uh, that film, the bad Denzel Washington film he did, a uh, safe house, right? It was in South Africa. But I had a fact. I had a had my beard and everything like that. I I kid you not. Okay, you you might say, I, look, I'm not trying to make any whatever. But I, I think they cut me out. I mean, for time, whatever, I can see where they, they didn't need it, even though it would have been cool if they used that scene. But I think I look so much like Denzel, and I, I had to ad lib my lines because of certain things, I mean, that, that they said, nah, man, they'll get kept, the audience, the people will get confused. I'm sure that happened, you know, and so blah, blah. Okay. By the way, I couldn't get a haircut here, man. They, man, I'm in Louisville. Every time I go to a new place, I try to go to the local barbershop, you know, where black people are. They have a haircut, you know what I mean? And hear what they're talking about, you know? Maybe even chime in for a second, because they'll say, who are you? But chime in, because that's the way I get my knowledge, because I'm a, I'm a witness traveler. Yeah, in the tradition of James Baldwin, I'm a witness traveler, right? In fact, lately I've been stopping, I'm, I've been trying not to talk so much, because, you know, blah, 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 I'm a radio man. So, so now, so now I'm, I'm going like, hey, I can be more of a witness, just keep my mouth shut. <laughs> See what's going on. Talk to interesting people. Oh, I talked to a really interesting brother when I get in the car. Um, a, 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 a DJ from Chicago. Home of house. Okay, I'm just saying that. Um, DJ Fleck. And so I, I was in the car. So they had a CD player. I put it in there. Whoa, house music. Real house music. I'm back in the day. I'm trying to get to the car right now. Let me finish, let me finish this up right now. I got to get going. Okay, so that's, that's, that's my day here. Uh, let me see. Oh, what else is happening? Oh, that's all. That's all I have to tell you. <laughs> to tell you no more, you know. It's just that it's another day with the second annual ADLS conference here in Louisville, Kentucky. You'll be well. I'm just 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 letting you know. I'm just giving you the 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 is it the four one one? Used to be four one one. I guess they don't have the numbers anymore. If you want information, just get on your phone and just <laughs> like that. Oh, I have one more thing. Every every morning, you know, I I do do my little da da da, da. but also I check, you know, I have to check the, the phone or whatever happened. But there, I saw it only on this article, and it's talking about Bitcoin, how it's, something is going to happen, whatever it is. So I, I read through the whole thing. I tend to read whole articles. Hey, back in the day, I used to read. I when I say back in the day, I'm talking about the seventies. I used to read Wall Street Journal. Really, I mean, long the jump that so I like to read the whole thing, you know, because they start one way and end another way. Like for instance, let me tell you, I'm sorry, I, I digress. Y'all can leave right now, but let me just say something. I read this article a long time ago. It was a peek in the back. Of, I think it was the back of it. Maybe no, it wasn't the Wall Street Journal. It must have been the, it must have been the Times. Yeah, the New York Times. 
and they, they had this whole thing on cranberries and how to it's good for you and blah blah blah. I mean, it was a huge article. I read it, and in the very last paragraph, they say the same properties that are in cranberries are in blueberries. You, you understand? Okay, look. Let me put it this way. So they were talking about about Bitcoin or whatever it is and, and how how it's gonna something's gonna happen. Blah 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 blah. And my thing is like, oh really? Okay. Uh, let us see how this works out because what's happening now is that there's this whole uh, 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 thing. Uh, people don't really want to do a whole lot of effort to do anything. But what 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 the Bitcoin is doing right now, they say, okay, we're invested. We we got our little thing going. Bitcoin keeps on rising, so whatever little bit of Bitcoin is going to get more valuable. Whatever. I don't know how the inner workings are. We'll we'll see what happens. And plus, they now anyway. So this article said that Bitcoin was going to do whatever it's going to do. It's going to be a negative thing, right? But at the end, you know, you see, no, they don't. They they threw something in that was so political. I'm going to like wait, wait a second, because you know, El Salvador has adopted the Bitcoin uh, as 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 their currency, if you want to put it that way. And so they're saying that you know, and they put in there like something like they didn't mention Nigeria, but 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 they say um, like El Salvador, and they said Cuba. I said wait a second, Cuba has not adopted anything. Why did they throw Cuba in there? I'm thinking, oh, okay, whoever wrote this thing, they're trying to, whatever they're trying to do. But since people aren't going to read to the end, they're not going to know that. doesn't matter. All I'm trying to say is that this is very interesting. And remember, El Salvador has adopted um, a crypto, or, I wouldn't say crypto, a Bitcoin. But here's the interesting thing. Yesterday when I was, uh, uh, not yesterday, the day before, I was trying to make some contacts uh, for something I want to do down here at Louisville or something I want to do with a project I'm working on. And so I was, it was sort of desolate, but there was one guy, I said, well, how do you get into this building? And the guy said, well, I don't know, I'm, I'm just new here, you know what I mean? I just started working, um, uh, you know, and, um, you know, it's my first day, you know, so I don't know this area, right? I said, okay, I said, he has access. I said, oh, you sound like, are you from Brazil? Because he did sound a little, well, maybe my ear is not the way it's supposed to be. He said, no, I'm from El Salvador. I said, oh, okay. I heard you all just adopted um, a Bitcoin as your currency. He said, yeah. He said, we're going see, to see how it works out because our country is poor. I mean, he's saying like 80% poor, 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 poor. And what the president has done, he's given everybody basically uh, $40 or 40 whatever, $40 worth of, of, of Bitcoin, all the, all, the, all the poor people, all the people in El Salvador. So they have to see how that works out and how, how, how it's going to be. So it's kind of, kind of interesting. I think that, you know, but that's what I'm trying to say. When I travel, when I talk to people, I try to talk to re real people, just regular people. So as soon as this guy says, El Salvador, and so he said, he said what he said. I'm going like, like, it's nearly full. So he said what he said. I'm not going to argue me. He's from the country. You know what I mean? So I like to watch that out. It was the same thing happened. I'm sorry, I'm meandering again. Um, uh, 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 I lost my thoughts. So I should stop meandering. I should get out of here. <laughs> so I will. I got to get going. Y'all take care. Talk to you another time. All right.